Hello, today we are going to hack Space Invaders. So basically you can use this to beat your friends or modify the code in any way so that you can never die, you can shoot faster, uh, whatever it may be. So if you're kind of confused as to what I'm talking about, Facebook's Messenger now has a game icon which you can click and open up and one of the games you can play is Space Invaders. So let's just take a look at it and see what it's all about. And what you're seeing right now is all running in JavaScript. And JavaScript runs locally on the browser. Our current browser being Google Chrome. We can see it pretty simple. You get hit, you die. And uh, we just scored 90 points. So let's see if we could somehow beat this high score of 500 by just modifying the code. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take a look under the hood of what's going on. And to do that we can either hit F12 or right click and inspect. And uh, we're going to want to get a sources. And then in here is where the code will be generated. Um, it's not here yet so let's just play Space Invaders real quick. And you can see this index.html is created. So let's open that up. Apps. Instance bundle. And then in the JS folder, we can see our game JS is right here. And this is basically all the code needed to run Space Invaders. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to the very top of the file and set a breakpoint. So we can right click add breakpoint and this will enable us to pause the game before it loads any of the code. We can make changes to it. So let's close the game. Play Space Invaders. You can now see paused in debugger mode which is just what we want. So we can basically change any of the code and continue on throughout the game by clicking this right here or F8 to resume the script. Anything we changed in the code over in the inspector will load on the other side. So let's see what we could do. So upon looking through the code um, there's a variable called this step points. So you're going to hit control F to find this dot points. And basically this is the variable used to just hold the points count for the uh, for the game and by default it's set to zero at first as expected but let's just set that to 500 which is our current high score so when we go back into the game we start off with 500 points and everything else is just an added bonus so to make sure that this will load on the other side we have to save so control s and you can see a little warning sign was created right here and the canvas for the code is all yellowed out so that's how you know it's saved and then click the play button and now let's see if we can beat 500 points which will basically mean we just need to kill one of them it's set to zero right now, but you'll see as soon as we kill one of them, it will initialize points to 500. So let's try it out. As you can see, we're already at 520 points. Perfect. And we just beat the high score. So if you go back to the messenger page, you now see the new high score is 540 points. And we are now top of the leaderboard. We can also make ourselves invincible. So let's take a look at of some things we can change that will enable us to do so. So now let's just play again. Make sure it's in debugger mode. Perfect. And upon looking through it, uh, there's a variable or not a variable function called on this explode, I believe on ship explode here we go 
and we're just going to want to comment out any instance of this. And to do so, you can do control forward slash. Let's continue looking. Comment this out. And this will basically prevent uh, our ship from freezing, so we can continue moving. Our ship will never be dead, and that little red screen of death when the game's over will not appear. Um, we're going to want to comment all of this out. So we don't want to explode, and we don't want our sprite to change, and also this frame counter set to zero will basically pause the game. So comment all of that out. We still want the ship to continue to move. And this initial function up here, uh, it's not being called anymore, so we can just leave it. You can also um, comment it out too, it doesn't really matter. So now just control save, or control S, sorry. Hit play. So now you can go throughout the game as normal. Wait for someone to shoot us. And you can see that we did not die. Our sprite may have changed, but that's because the game's just confused. So at this point, the only way you can lose is if the aliens basically reach this bottom red line. So you can kind of uh, more legitimately beat the game, but it's still a major cheat. And that about wraps it up. Um, if you guys want to see any other changes to the game, just leave a, a comment below about what do you think uh, could be added or changed to make the game more fun or whatever it may be. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.